This may seem the most infantile of questions, and if it is, I beg your indulgence. I have been thinking about literature lately, as its time hath come round at last, and am currently of the mind that one thing that differentiates literature from stock fiction is that literature is vast and contains multitudes, yea, but also doth itself reference among its better players, with subtle snickering product placement peppered all over the place. How far off am I? Perhaps not so far as one might think. For while the concept of product placement conjures images of crass commercialism, of blatant shilling and shameless pandering, it is not entirely foreign to the realm of literature. Indeed, the self-referential nature of great works, the subtle nods and winks to other texts and authors, could be seen as a kind of literary product placement, albeit one that is far more sophisticated and nuanced than its modern-day counterpart. Consider, for example, the works of Shakespeare, that titan of the English language. His plays are rife with allusions to classical mythology, to biblical stories, to historical events and figures. He borrows freely from earlier writers, weaving their words and ideas into his own tapestry, creating a rich and complex intertextuality that rewards the attentive reader. But Shakespeare's self-referentiality goes beyond mere illusion. He often has his characters quote or paraphrase other characters from his own plays, creating a kind of echo chamber of meaning. In Hamlet, for instance, the eponymous prince famously quotes his father's ghost, who in turn quotes the biblical figure of Cain. This layering of references not only adds depth and complexity to the play, but also serves to reinforce its themes of revenge, justice, and the cyclical nature of violence. Other writers too have engaged in this kind of literary product placement. T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland is a veritable smorgasbord of references, from the Bible to Wagner to the Upanishads. James Joyce's Ulysses is a labyrinthine journey through the works of Homer, Dante, and Shakespeare, among others. And David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest is a sprawling encyclopedic novel that references everything from pop culture to philosophy to mathematics. Of course, not all self-referentiality is created equal. Some writers are more heavy-handed in their approach, while others are more subtle and playful. Some references are meant to be immediately recognizable, while others are more obscure and require a deeper knowledge of the literary canon. But regardless of the specifics, self-referentiality is a hallmark of great literature. It is a sign of a writer who is not only deeply engaged with the world around them, but also with the tradition of which they are a part. It is a way of acknowledging the debt that all writers owe to those who came before them, while at the same time staking a claim to their own originality and creativity. So to answer the question posed at the outset, yes, literature does engage in a kind of self-referential product placement. But it is a product placement of a different order, one that is rooted in a deep appreciation for the power of language and the richness of the literary tradition. It is a product placement that enriches and ennobles rather than cheapens and degrades. And it is a product placement that reminds us that literature is not merely a collection of isolated works, but a living, breathing conversation that spans centuries and continents.